guys, Disco Warlock here, playing Pillars of Eternity. Uh, for those of you who struggle with the Drake, like myself, I wanted to know there's got to be an easier way to fight this than straight up in the open. So I discovered that if I line my characters in this way, I'm using a Paladin, Fighter, Druid, Priest, Chanter, and Wizard. I basically set my Fighter and Paladin to tank on the one side, and I keep my Wizard on the lower half, as you can see there. Um, I gave my Chanter a bow just for the sake of getting his chance up to summon skeletons, and I needed him to attack from the back, as you won't have much room to attack from the front. Now, I used my Druid over here to start the fight for me. As you can see, I'm just in that lower room off to the side there. The, reason, the reasoning behind this is because we can funnel the minions that are with the Drake all together and AoE them down using your wizard's uh, level 1 uh, wave of flame or whatever it's called ability. And as you can see here, I start to move my fighter into position along with my paladin. Uh, now that they're in position, they will be able to hold the front line, I guess you could say. And with your wizard off to the side, the cone doesn't hit them, which is great because normally it's an AoE ability and it will even damage your own guy. So it's pretty hard to use out in the open or you're going to have to kite your wizard away from the group kind of thing. But in this position, you get to AoE all those little minions that are with the drake while keeping your own guys safe. Um, it is important to take a look at how much health your guys have because you don't want your front line to break and have the plan ruined. So as you can see, I keep them carrying on, just keep using the that ability there, and if your mage is level 5 um, and you've unlocked the level 3 abilities, you use the uh, ball of flame, I believe it's called, uh, and it detonates on the area, and if you use that, it also does killer amount of damage, as you can see right here, got rid of quite, the f quite a few of the guys. And as I keep AoEing down, you can see my fighter got in the way a little bit. I damaged him with my cone of fire. And now I'm starting to go, oh crap. So in this situation, you're going to want to use uh, your priest and have them use the ability that puts your character in, I believe it's called endurance, but it puts them in this ball and it starts to heal them while regaining their endurance back. Uh, it also acts like a pylon and blocks the minions out as well, which is still good because your front line technically never really goes down. Uh, you still have to watch out for your, if you're using the flame ability still. Um, I personally kept it away, I didn't know if it would kill my guy or not, so as you can see I just kite, I open the area up, I've got skeletons on the drake now, There are there's one add left, and the fight just continues to get simpler at this point. As you can see, I'm just searching for where I can place the ability without injuring my own guys. I think about starting DPS the Drake, but I want that last add gone. Boom, he's dead. Now I start to kite my wizard back, getting him out of the front line as I want him to be alive and to use up the last of his abilities. Now with the fighter regaining his endurance, he'll be at full strength soon. I'm starting to realize it's time to get my front line back up in there and let's encircle and kill this drake. But at the same time, you don't want to let him through that door because if he breathes his fire, it can pretty much cause a wipe, as it happened to me twice before that. But here we are. Um, druids are great for this part. Uh, once you transform them into cat form, which is the one I chose, they do a lot of DPS, and this is perfect. Unfortunately, the movement of my chanter to try to heal my fighter, which will be coming up soon, kind of messes things up a little bit. But, nonetheless, fight keeps on going. Wizard just makes it out of the fire. Uh, the Necrotic Lance is a 
perfect attack for this. Deals tons of damage to him. Boom, fighters back up. I gotta rebuild that front line. Uh, getting my priest in here to heal. Get the chanter. I gotta drop his heal on that fighter. And this is as I was saying, where the units kinda get a little mixed up and my druid gets a little tossed out, so a realign was necessary, but not detrimental. Boom, as the combat starts again. As you can see, transformed into cat form, but got blocked out by my chanter. Yeah. A good thing to uh, remember is to always use your chanter stacks. I always seem to forget about his, or kind of put him in the back because I gave him the bow. Uh, if you summon a lot more skeletons, or use his enemy... Uh, uh, his uh, shout that reduces the reduction of the en of the enemies that helps a ton too in the AOE aspect because it makes all those minions basically useless with their damage reduction. Uh, so you can also play around with the setup and you know maybe try the Chanter getting him in there close. Maybe you per maybe the Chanter's your main character and not a paladin. Uh, the build doesn't matter too much just as long as you have that main fighter tank to hold the line for you, and a priest for healing, and the wizard for the AoE. So as you can see here, I get my Truid in there, he starts to damage them. Um, the wizard, still casting his abilities, getting rid of his last couples, a uh, couple AoEs there. I've got my priest, keeping the heals up for the group, drop my fighter back into an orb again. Now this is what I did not expect to happen, and of course it's a random fight. So the dragon blows his fire down, killing both my druid and the wizard. But we still have my paladin who I left at the back, the chanter who I'm going to summon skeletons, and the priest still has stacks left to drop guys into their orbs, and heal. So all is not lost here. We're down two guys. No worries. And the fight cleans up actually quite well right after this. I'm playing around trying to get the skeletons. I wish they would just, once you summon them, they would just auto attack, but no worries as the dragon is now dead. And let's see what he dropped. Nothing too fancy, a bunch of spears and shields, you know, shields for days. Alright guys, thanks for watching.